Japan. Hey guys, it's me Minori and my pet Baymax. Welcome back to my channel. Hi! Okay, so have you guys ever been like, I wish I had a crane game at my house? Yeah, so I went through that phase a few weeks ago and now I have this. <laughs> a crane game machine. It's actually legit. It's a pretty normal crane game you would see at like an arcade. I already played with it a little bit and I have to say it's actually pretty fun. Anyways, here I have a crane game. Ooh. And here I have some markers. So yeah, since you guys like my crane game videos and my drawing videos, I decided to mix the two together. So I thought it's going to be really fun if I let my crane game machine choose whatever I draw today. I know it sounds kind of insane, but hopefully it works out. So yeah, let's just jump right in. Crane game machine controls what I draw for the day. Let's get started. Okay, so the rules. So right now, inside this machine, I have like these small capsules. Let me show you. So here I have the key and <laughs> I feel so special. So inside the machine, I have these small capsules and inside each capsule, there's like these random themes inside. They're all really random, like long hair, short, sexy. So first I'm going to choose two themes using this machine. And then I'm going to switch the inside with these markers. And I'm going to try to choose like one or two markers. And whatever color I would get, I would need to use it as the main color. Some themes are like physically not possible to work together, like having short hair and long hair at the same time. But other than that, I have to like force myself to draw and make it work. Ah, oh, Baymax. So the rules are really simple. Let's get started. Oh, hey, you can actually see me because there's a mirror inside. Anyways, like a normal crane game machine, I'm going to need to use some money. And let's see how it works. Okay. <gasps> this is so fun. Okay, let me go for that blue one. Oh. Okay, uh. <gasps> Let me try it again. Okay, let me go for the yellow one. And... <gasps> Yay! <laughs> okay, so for the first one, I got a ponytail. Okay, so I have to draw someone with a ponytail. That's not too hard. And my second theme, let me go for the green. Okay, let me go for the green again. Oh, this is so fun. And... Yes! Perfect! Ta-da! And the reveal. I have to draw a teacher's pet. How to draw a teacher's pet? So for my first one, I need to draw a teacher's pet with a ponytail. And next, let's choose the colors. And I'm going to replace the inside with some markers. I know this is going to be a little bit of hassle. I really wanted two crane games. But I mean, what am I going to do with two machines? And put all these markers inside. And we're ready. And let's see what the main color is going to be. And... Oh, this one's going to be a little bit harder. Hmm. This may take a while. Come on. Ooh, okay. Okay, so this is going to be the main color for my first drawing. Lavender Mist. That's actually a really cute color. Let's see how it goes. So, a ponytail teacher's pet. Hmm. This is really hard because a teacher's pet is really vague. Like, it could literally be anyone. Like, I was kind of a teacher's pet. By the way, I actually didn't like this first draft, so I threw it away and restarted a new one later on. And this is my new one. And it's a secret, guys, but since I couldn't get the anatomy right, I got my costume and took a few pictures of myself for reference. I know it sounds stupid, but you can always use yourself as reference. So here's my rough draft. I'm going to take a picture and put it into my computer. And now I'm going to use my tablet to do the line art. So this is my Wacom tablet that I always use. And look at this. 
I know, it looks like a pencil, but it's actually a tablet pen, which is so weird. I have to say, my first drawing turned out the worst. Probably because I haven't been drawing for a while, so it was kind of more like a warm-up than anything. Just a real quick tip, you can add some depth to the drawing by adding these like triangles on the corners. Like, you know, like these corners. Most importantly, under the chin and just anywhere where there's going to be like shadow. Okay, so here's my first drawing. I'm going to change the color of the line art, maybe to like light brown. And make it really, really light. Let's go ahead and print this out. And here it is. By the way, I didn't print it on like a normal paper. I print it onto a Copic paper. It's made specifically for Copic markers. And here are some Copic markers that I'm going to be using today. Now, we need to keep in mind that this needs to be the main color. So I'm thinking of coloring her hair and her eyes with this lavender marker. I'm gonna need E0000, R20. I honestly don't know which color I'm going to be using yet. So I'm going to be swatching some colors onto this paper. And if I like it, I'm going to use it on my drawing. And I'm going to be using E0000 first. In the States, a teacher's pet is more like a nerd with glasses. In Japan, it's either like the perfect girl who looks super pretty with long black hair or a nerdy girl with pigtails. So drawing a teacher's pet with a ponytail and blue hair was just so different. I honestly don't really like how she turned out. And at the very end, I decided to drop some alcohol ink all over to add like this cute background. Super easy and super cute. Okay, so this is my first drawing and I don't know what to think guys. <laughs> it's definitely something that I would have never drawn. Like I probably wouldn't go for like this lavender color for a hair for like a teacher's pet. So yeah, not my best drawing, not the worst. Let's move on. So for my second drawing, I'm going to choose two themes again. I'm excluding the first two themes because I don't want to like redraw the same thing. Let's see what I'm going to get for my second drawing. Ah, this? Hmm. Maybe I could go for the one in the back. Oh, I suck at this. Okay, let's go for the red one. Yay! The reveal! So for the second one, I need to draw a swimsuit. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. And one more. Come on. And... <gasps> yes! Ta-da! It says... A unicorn. So when I wrote unicorn, I didn't really like mean to draw a unicorn. I meant something like a unicorn theme. So like a unicorn themed swimsuit. Okay, next, let's choose the color. Hmm, I would need something like colorful. I kind of want to go for that baby blue or pink. Oh. <gasps> hmm, so I got two. Grass green and frost blue. Hmm, this is going to be a little bit hard. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so for my second drawing, I need to draw a unicorn swimsuit and I have to use green and this frost blue. That is again something that I would have never thought of. So yeah, it's definitely a little bit challenging. This time I'm going to draw a girl standing up. Okay, so here's my rough sketch. Again, I'm just gonna take a picture and put it into my computer. So, I like using my tablet to do the line art because it's just so easy to fix the small parts. You can cut it out, copy and paste, redo. It's less stressful than traditional art. The best thing about it is that even if you mess up later on, you can always print it out again and get a brand new line art. Maybe I can make the head a little bit smaller. How's that? Let me quickly fix the lines. And now to the printer. And there we have it. I actually think she's really cute. Okay, so for this drawing, 
we can't forget. I have to use these two colors. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to color in her sandals green and her swimsuit blue. I honestly like coloring in the drawings with traditional mediums because, I don't know, I like the feeling of mixing the colors and blending. It's just so satisfying. So, since this is a challenge, I wanted to use the colors like as the main main colors. I thought it would be kind of boring if I used the colors on the smallest area and call it a pass. I mean, I wanted to go all in. That's why I decided to color her clothes all blue and her sandals all green, which is something I'm going to regret later on. And this is where I use this color. Hmm, I kind of wish I went with like polka dots instead. Oh, well, I can't take it back, so I guess I have to go with it. Does that look weird? Oh my gosh. I was honestly having a really nice time, and then BAM! I don't like the colors. Like the themes I can work with, the colors... Hmm... I don't know guys. To be honest, I thought she was kind of cute. I liked her outfit and everything until I colored it in. <laughs> That's one weird outfit. This is a lot harder than it looks. I want to color her eyes green. And lastly, her hair. I don't know what color is going to match her outfit. Let's go with light brown. So here we have it. I don't know what to say guys. I think the colors are kind of throwing me off. If I were to draw her again, I would never use these colors. But again, these challenges are for me to like go out of my comfort zone and try something new. It's definitely something new. And while they're not like my best art or anything, I am having fun. And my desk is so dirty. Artist struggles. Who can relate? So here's my drawings, and it's currently late at night, so I'm really tired, but I think we can go for one more drawing. One more? Yeah. I'm starting to get the hang of it, so hopefully my last one will turn out great. Anyways, let's go to the crane game machine. Let's start with the markers because it's already in there and I don't want to like change it. I want to get that pink. Nope. Come on. Pink, pink, pink. Oh. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> and I got two. Killing two birds with one stone. So I got light prawn and pink. Ooh, these are really nice colors. And again, I'm just gonna open it and change the inside. And here we go. How about that blue one? Ooh, yay! First try. And let's get the other one. Maybe the green one. Oh, nice. Perfect. Yay. So the first one says maid. So I guess I'm going to draw a maid. A maid and one more. Ta-da! With freckles. Oh, that's gonna be so cute. And let's get to it. So for my last drawing, I'm going to draw a maid with freckles using pink and light prawn. I think I can do this. So her maid outfit is going to be pink. Let me check the colors. Oh, this pink is so bright. Well, we'll see. <laughs> Maybe I could add like bows. And time to outline. It's going to take a while, so I'm just gonna watch Big Bang Theory. I feel like I kind of messed up as I couldn't add too much diversity in this video today. I honestly get a lot of comments about how I don't draw people with more diversity, like drawing more guys and stuff. But I mean, I pulled out swimsuit, unicorn, teacher's pet, and maid, and it was just easier for me to go with girls. And I always say this, but I like drawing girls more. It's also easier as I can always use myself as reference if I can't get the anatomy. I think I read somewhere that people tend to draw things that resemble themselves more. Since I'm not like a professional artist nor have I ever studied art, I just tend to draw things that I really like. And it ends up being girls. 
but hopefully next time I can make it more diverse. In fact, please comment below some themes I can use for my next video. Look at her dancing. <laughs> and let's go ahead and print. Ta -da! Okay, as usual, I'm going to start from her skin. Blend, blend, blend. And yes, we can't forget her freckles. I love freckles. I think they're so cute. Maybe like brown for her hair. No, I made these random marks. Oh well, it happens. Oh, I actually really like this hair color. Just for future notes, I'm using E13, E95, and E30. Just so if I ever want to draw it again, I can recreate the colors. And now onto her clothes. Nice. And next, the light prawn. Oh, that's so pretty. I don't know why, but she reminds me of Hello Kitty. Just a little bit more. And her eyes. I kind of want to use purple. I think it's going to look really, really pretty. A little bit of blue and some pink. Adding some highlighter with a white pen. Some shadows. A little bit more. This is it guys. So made with freckles using these two pink colors as the main colors. I had so much fun guys, but I think we're done. Oh gosh, my desk. I know it's so dirty. Anyways, these are how they turned out. The colors kind of threw me off, but again, that was part of the challenge. What's the point of a challenge if you're not uncomfortable? And it was a lot of fun. Like, I probably would have never drawn a girl with freckles and a pink maid costume. Like, it basically made me draw things that I would have never drawn, and I think it's a great way to improve drawing. And if you guys want another crane game video, please give me a like and a comment below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye!